Welcome to another video on Osteogenesis Imperfecta. This video is a package of high yield information on its own, so be with us till the end. Osteogenesis Imperfecta is commonly known as brittle bone disease. It is also known as Rolex disease or fragilitas osseum. Osteogenesis imperfecta, the term which itself indicates imperfect bone formation, is a name given to group of disorders characterized by multiple fractures, often from mild trauma or no apparent cause. Such condition often presents with multiple low trauma fractures during infancy and childhood along with other associated features that we will be discussing afterwards. Osteogenesis imperfecta results from mutation in COL1A1 and COL1A2 genes which encode for type 1 collagen, as a result of which tissues such as skin, sclera, teeth and ligaments are affected. Apart from weak and fragile bones, this condition is associated with other features such as blue sclera, joint laxity, autosclerosis. One thing is to be noted that the tendency to fracture often reduces with age. These are other features associated with OI. Respiratory problems are seen more with severe forms of osteogenesis imperfecta in which there is an abnormally small, fragile ribcage and underdeveloped lungs, particularly seen in infants. Some cases of OI also present with a disorder of tooth development called dentiogenesis imperfecta. Apart from osteogenesis imperfecta, other causes of tendency for easy fractures are osteoporosis, osteopetrosis, osteomalacia, and polio limb. It is said that there are at least 19 recognized forms of osteogenesis imperfecta, but we mainly deal with type 1, 2, 3, and 4, out of which type 1 and 4 have autosomal dominant inheritance. Severe variant is known to occur when their inheritance is autosomal recessive, such as in case of type 2 and type 3. Type 1 is the most common and milder form of osteogenesis imperfecta where there is reduced collagen production. Severe forms of osteogenesis imperfecta are associated with formation of abnormal collagen chains that are rapidly degraded in the body. Type 2 OI, also known as lethal OI, is the most severe form. It is associated with respiratory failure due to underdeveloped lungs, such that majority of cases die within the age of infancy. Diagnosis is made based on history of fractures with little or no apparent trauma. Also, x-rays can be done to visualize defect in bone. One can also undergo genetic testing to detect OI. OI has no cure, but the treatment has to be multidisciplinary to ease the lives of the patients, which involves surgical reduction and fixation of fractures, correction of limb deformities, physiotherapy and rehabilitation of patients with limb deformities. Bisphosphonates are widely used in treatment of OI as they are potent inhibitors of bone resorption and bone turnover. These drugs are used in an attempt to increase bone mineral density and reduce fractures in people with OI. This marks the end of our video. We hope we could help you a bit. If yes, then please like, comment, share and subscribe and stay tuned with us for more videos every week.